Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's John Berry here. I'm a professor emeritus at Queen's University in Canada. Uh, I am very happy to be able to participate in this celebration of the 100th anniversary of Durganan's birth and uh, hope that all goes well with you in Allahabad uh, during this celebration. Um, I've been asked to say a few things uh, about my uh, memories of and relationship with uh, Professor Sinha. I'll start by uh, remembering that uh, I first met him in 1974. He had been at the uh, International Congress of Applied Psychology in Montreal and unfortunately had suffered a heart attack there. Uh, I did not meet him at that conference but uh, a little later, he came to see one of his former students and colleagues, Arjun Purowit, who is, was a colleague of mine at Queen's University. And Arjun asked me to come and meet Professor Sinha uh, because he thought that we probably would have a lot in common. And of course, that turned out to be very uh, true. Uh, we uh, met at uh, Arjun's house and immediately, uh, understood uh, each other and understood each other's interests. And uh, there began a very close and warm friendship and collegial uh, research relationship that lasted for many, many years. Uh, I have written before, I think in the obituary that I um, drafted for uh, your journal, that uh, Professor Sinha was one of the few colleagues who always had something original to say. I think I said that whenever he spoke, I learned something. And that's uh, hardly ever true of uh, most of us. The uh, situation in which we found ourselves uh, at that first meeting uh, blossomed into uh, a long-term relationship. Uh, and it was cemented by uh, the fact that a former student, Ramesh Misra, came and spent a year as a fellow here. And we developed a project that included uh, Professor Sinha, uh, Ramesh and myself. And it was the first of the projects that uh, examined the uh, development, um, both cognitive and social of uh, Adivasi uh, people in the state uh, of Bihar. Uh, <clears throat> during that project, uh, I came to know Professor Sinha even better because we traveled to Bihar together. And um, I believe he had um, a relative who was in the forestry service and he had access to a mountain cabin or a cottage run by the forestry service. We arrived, I think, unannounced and immediately uh, some servants uh, prepared a meal and some beds for us and we had a rollicking good time that first evening, I remember. Uh, we both liked whiskey, yeah, but only for our health, of course. Uh, and then began the field work uh, in the uh, days that followed. So that was my first really close, long-term encounter with Professor Sinha after the initial meeting. Uh, subsequently, uh, we uh, became uh, very close during my frequent visits to Allahabad uh, when the International Center for the Advancement of Community-Based Rehabilitation developed a project in collaboration with uh, Namita Pandi and Ajit Dalal uh, and others uh, in the department. Uh, and I think I probably made four or five visits during the lifetime of that project, which uh, cemented our friendships. Um, I remember visiting him in his beautiful uh, mansion and being hosted by him and his wife uh, and uh, having great times, both food and drinking, uh, to uh, our mutual uh, pleasure. And of course, most recently, we were involved together in the second Bihar project, <clears throat> which was international in scope, including uh, people from uh, Ghana and from uh, China, as well as uh, people from India. And unfortunately, uh, Professor Sinha didn't live long enough to see the uh, publication of that book, 
with uh, Professor Mishra as the uh, lead author. Uh, just to close, let me say that um, not only did I learn a lot every time I interacted, I had a great deal of pleasure. Uh, he was a warm, accommodating, uh, supportive, uh, as well as uh, interesting uh, person. And I considered him to be one of my closest friends over those years. I wish you all a good celebration of his life. And uh, I will try to join you uh, during uh, your sessions coming up later this week. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.